how you guys doing? It's a boy Flint back in with another video. As you see, we are doing a reaction. I told you every day is gonna be a reaction. It could be SAP or it could be a video that you guys could recommend to me. <laughs> it doesn't have to be SAP member, there's a comment section. But you see, we're gonna be reacting against, you know, the truly Tales from the Foundation, you know, SAP animation. You know how it is. <laughs> For me, it's very late, it's 12 30 a.m. But hey, I'm still with the grind, you know what I mean? <laughs> I may, I'm, I'm th I was thinking about live streaming tomorrow when the video go up, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Maybe like a one hour live stream. All right, but I see we do in the action where the drags went by, you know, the Fertiles from the foundation. This SAP before you get started too is like a bots um, that has dragons in here. Say so here we are dragging something like that, some, something like that. And the dragons are like paper planes and stuff. But in that box for themselves is like, you know, actually like real, like, you know, like an RPG in a way. But for the dragons that comes out and stuff, like there's like different tribes and everything. But let's get into it. You know, I don't care. This guy has way more subscribers than me. Go support him. The original of the video is going to be in the description. You already know. Let's go. Let's get it started. But before you do that, hit that like button. Ooh, get my thing more commented. You know, making me do the dance. You know what I mean? Hit the subscribe button. Go to a thousand subscribers. I'm going to be giving away multiple gift cards and face cam. I'm going to buy a face cam, you know? Most of my videos are going to have a face cam, guys. You know, it'll be better. You can see my reaction in my face. <laughs> so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And remember, uh, don't forget to turn on the bell notification. And you won't be notified, you know, when my video comes up and everything. So you can be the first one in there and give it some love. You know, be in the comment section. You already know. And yeah, there's a comment section too, remember. Like anything, I always try to go play 24-7. And yeah, let's get into it. Woo! Alright. Let's see. What is there to be said of where the dragons went? Okay. Just as much as any other tale. The more if you're a romantic. The answer is simple. A cardboard box, spray painted silver. Yeah, he, he'll be dragons, On remember? Side, I said that. Three words were written in black permanent marker. Here be dragons. What do we know of its history? Well, it began with a family of creatives, one so imaginative and passionate that they could bend our reality with their thoughts. Okay. The wonders of their imagination came spilling into their the world, <laughs> racing it with whimsy and light. With this ability, they crafted a room in their home, one filled with magic. This exquisite place had no rival in all the world. Its walls were of the purest white marble, covered Yo, in etchings really of fantastic again, creatures. Yo, you guys already know what I said. If I'm not getting a single penny, from this ad, I'm not going to show you volume. So let's keep going and let's skip this ad and let's keep going with the video. You already know. <laughs> All right, let's pause it. Boom, and let's start. Its ceiling stretched so right. high, it appeared to have no ceiling at all, instead, being blanketed by dainty clouds overhead. But this magical room was more than just visual splendor, it was also a portal. And okay. this was the place was from the which the dragons emerged. Right, the bots. Their full glory was so grand that it defied Man, I mean, Yo, the animation I'm getting better and better every time, you know, I go from the bottom to the top. From this on uh, for the video, which, you know, young Pack, he told me to, you know, so from the top, from, from the oldest video to the newest. Yeah, they say, you know, something happens, you know, each characters. They stood tall and strong, and their eyes were so full of wisdom. That anyone caught in their gaze was paralyzed by wonder. God damn! We haven't seen the other side of this portal. But if the dragons are to be believed, it is filled with all sorts of natural wonders and fantastic creatures. From towering, enigmatic... You got this fantastic creatures? Yo! What? My boy's built like Eticaro from his auto evolution right here from Pokemon. And this guy, yo, don't even get started with. What even is he? He wouldn't, yo, my boy, yo, what is it? It's not fantastic creatures. <laughs> Uncles to the conniving gem thieving Zargarths. For years, this family of creatives kept the room in pristine condition, not only for their sake, but for the dragons as well. Okay. They spoke often, growing to understand and love each other. Over the years, they became inseparable friends and allies. 
their beautiful friendship is still remembered by the dragons today, or so we believe. It is unknown why the family was unable to maintain the room, but once they stopped, it began to shrink. Ah, uh, it was discovered, the room had become the small silver cardboard box, and it sat in a sterile white-walled room in a facility, a room within a room. On occasion, the dragon still emerged from the box, but Paper just plane, as boy. the room had faded from its full glory, so too had the dragons. Damn. In their own reality, they the still plane. appeared as beautiful and strong as ever. But in our reality, the belief in their fantasy world had faded so much that Damn. their bodies could no longer be sustained. I have to say, this is supposed to be a sad story, like, you know, they all are dying. Stained. Instead, they appeared as paper dragons, flying about Damn. as shadows of their former selves. Though they didn't inspire as much awe as they once had, it was still a wonder to see hundreds of paper dragons flutter and circle the room when they emerged. Okay. They could still observe us too, just as we observe them. They sent notes for us to read, updating us how their world had yep. changed since the family left the room. You have found us. Thank you. It has been so long since we last saw- Remember, this was a sad story. They're all like, you know, fading and dying away. What that keeps sending letters. My friends, the peace has been upheld. The giants and behemoths have yep. kept their word and have not caused any trouble since you last came and gave the order. We missed your company. How has your family been? Do you still know how to work your room? You are welcome to visit any time. It's strange to see how much your world has changed. Damn. It's even stranger to see how we now appear in this place. In fantasy, we are much bigger. Or maybe you've grown taller. Fantasy is still the same. We hope you can visit us like you used to. Though our room is as grand as ever, it appears yours has shrunken. We do not understand. The rooms were supposed to be maintained. As was our agreement, please restore the belief. Damn! These notes came with each appearance of the paper dragons, telling tales of how the fantasy world had fallen since the departure of the family. Yo, God it damn. appeared that they were very involved in the working of the fantasy world, though in their absence, the order that they created was disintegrating, like the box that connected the two worlds. The notes grew bleaker over time. The isolation of the box in the facility was detrimental, keeping it away from the imaginative energy it needed to exist. Damn. Surrounded by cold, sterile walls and fluorescent lights, it was cut off from the rest of the world. The next note came with the appearance of only 20 dragons. Uh, let's hear the next note. Only 20? Remember, there seems to be hundreds flying around. Now there's only 20. Yes. We apologize for our few numbers. We have had to remain in fantasy for quite some Damn. time. The others are growing impatient. We are trying to keep the peace, but please, for all of our happiness, repair the room quickly. We know you are trying. Your family is the most imaginative of us all. Their faith in us was heartbreaking. God, they called man. us friends, yeah, you see? and we called them SCPs. We had lost sight of the imagination they thrived on that sustained their magic. The next appearance of the dragons was accompanied by three balls yeah. of crumpled yellow paper, Damn. which shook and rolled around on the floor before laying still, appearing to die. The giants were foolish. Your room was not ready to accept them yet. We're Damn, sorry, friends. We hope that we can still see you, but time is growing short for our happiness. I told you, this is supposed to be very, very sad. What fragile peace existed in their world seemed to be deteriorating, with frustrated parties like the giants trying to come and speak with us directly. Okay. Their bodies, the crumpled pieces of paper, were picked up by the paper dragons and carried back into the box when they departed. Their reverence and respect was lost on us. 
Their visits became shorter and more tension filled, and their numbers dwindled further. Fuck you, begin, Dad. But I'll tell you, if I'm gonna see Uncle Penny, I'm not gonna show that with volume. You know, pay me. <laughs> uh, let's get. Yeah, remember, guys, this was really sad. So, the more, the more they come out, you know, the less they come out, and most of them are gonna be crumbles, you see, and everything. They're all dying out because, you know, there's no more imagination or stuff, you know, like, to help them. Like, they feed on imagination. They're, like, in this room that's, like, so stale and everything. They're just dying off. The next note was delivered by five dragons okay. who departed immediately after placing it on the sterile facility floor. Tensions are rising. Fantasy is becoming darker. Damn. We, the serpents and the hybrids, are furiously trying to hold them back, but the giants and elves wish to strike and make an entrance. They say that your family has grown stupid and ignorant. Damn. We hope this untrue. It would sadden us all greatly to know you have forgotten. They had been optimistic about our inaction until this point, but it seemed that they were losing a battle and could no longer afford to hold out hope. A few of us wondered what tragedies were happening on the other side. Surely the immense, shimmering beasts were holding the unfriendly forces at bay. And if they couldn't, what would come through the box then? Okay. Living paper giants? Real, flesh and blood giants? The threat was assessed to be minimal, though there was nothing we could do, even if we wanted to intervene in their struggle. Soon after the last note, Damn, a single see? red dragon yep. crawled from the All box, shredded. its wings torn, and its body noticeably crumpled. Shortly after emerging, it collapsed on the floor Damn. and didn't move again. War. Goodbye. Damn. Friends. A couple hours later, yep. the box flew open and a white hot fire burst from within, rising high above the box's rim. The heat was so intense that the glass of the observation window began to melt, and the walls blistered and burned, and the ceiling charred. This blazing fire seemed to continue for hours, then suddenly, several dozen crumpled paper balls and torn yep. shreds were thrown out of the box. They fell to the floor, unmoving. Then all at once, the box went still. It was empty, as it always had been. Over the next few weeks, the box periodically opened with its fiery fury. Yep. More paper bodies would appear each time, though their numbers steadily decreased. We had no way of knowing when the box would close for the last time, but it did. And it remained still for months afterwards. Until something came out, like an amethyst or something. In its silent, still state, one researcher looked inside and discovered a note. Are you still out there, friends? We miss you dearly. Fantasy is no longer safe. Damn. Our haven, your beautiful creation, is gone. The, the giants, giants are, are dead. The centaurs are dead. The birds have fled. We are going to bury your room. We cannot risk hurting you. This is our goodbye. Maybe one day your family can build another room. This may be a hollow hope, but we will cherish this thought. Damn, guys, RIP. The final note from the dragons came some time after. The box with had book, returned right? to its original state, but with one key difference. The side now read, "Here were, we're dragons. dragons." Damn. Master says that we won't see you again. We are sad. So are the remaining others. We once filled each other's heads with dreams and goals. It is so sad that we cannot share them any longer. Damn. Master says we have to go. He says that he will make us a new fantasy. He says you cannot be a part of it. We are sad. We love you. We will not forget you. We are scared. Will you forget us? Damn, will you forget us? Yo, that's it? Damn. Oh, no, I right hear No, mind, no, my look. I right hear. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yep. Beast of the Old Tale Letters. And the Amethyst I was talking about. Hi! Yo! That wasn't that bad, yo! Like, I knew what, like, it built with the walls, you know, from an old thing, but they did it good! You know, clap it up! God damn, that was good! You know, it's in the emotion, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, guys, sadly, you know what this made? It concludes the end of the video. Guys, remember, if you liked what you seen, hit that like button, subscribe button, you know, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> You know, go to a thousand subscribers, you know, gonna be giving away multiple gift codes and a face cam, guys. <laughs> Don't you wanna know how my face look, huh? 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 Nice stuff. Make sure you also turn on the bell notification, you know, to be notified when my, my video comes in, you know, like every day, so you can be the first one there. And remember, there's a comment section, you know, you guys, you guys could write anything you want, you know. I'll try to reply 24 7. That's pretty much it. Friends out. <laughs>